Hi parents, this is Dr. Leslie Blevins with Anilda Clinic at anildaclinic.com and today I'm going to take you through what a traditional neuropsych evaluation looks like at my clinic with me. So I break down my assessment appointments into two hour blocks for my older kids and then if I have a very young child, typically a kid about four years old or younger, then sometimes I'll even break it down further into appointments that are about one hour long. And during that time frame, I am working with the child alone in a one-on-one -on -one setting with just me and the child, and the parent is in the waiting room, which is just a door between us and you. And yeah, so I'm working with the kid one-on-one. -on -one. I have here just some little things that I'm going to show you today so that you get a good idea of what's happening in the room during the evaluation process. For some of my older kids and a couple of little things for the young kids, um, we're doing iPad testing. So this is a relatively new way of doing testing. That's where we have two different iPads, one for me, the examiner, and then another one for the child where I'm able to show the child the different items and then I'm able to score the child on my iPad and I'm able to go through and choose the next appropriate item on my iPad, those types of things. And it's really nice because of course kids love technology and so this is a nice way to get children who are not super motivated to come in and do testing, um, to come in and really enjoy it right from the get-go. Um, another thing that I utilize inside my clinic is um, other forms of technology like the computer. I do one test where the kids actually get to wear headphones and um, listen to different sounds and we use that to actually measure a form of auditory attention. And um, other types of testing, we're using traditional books and paper, pencils and pictures, and I'm having the, the kids look at different stimuli and respond either verbally or just with motor movements, um, things like that. And so again, the appointments last up to two hours at once. However, most of the time we need at least two of those to get through a whole assessment. Sometimes we need three of those. So most assessments last between four and six hours in total. And um, sometimes we do it all in one day. So we'll have four hours broken into two periods, a morning session and an afternoon session, or we'll do two different days for a younger kid or a kid that might you know, be a little bit more inattentive or impulsive. We might do two different days with two hours each. Or if it's a very young kid or a very impulsive kid, we'll break it down into four one hour sessions so that we always get the best results from that child. Um, because a lot of times, you know, we can always measure impulsivity by having the kid do something all day long and just wearing them out. But a lot of times we're trying to measure other things as well, like their language ability, their thinking ability, whatever it might be. So I wanted to show you a couple of things to give you an idea of what I do to get past some of the behavior difficulties that might be a concern for you and so that you get an idea of how we get valid results for psychological testing. So I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna take you on a tour right now. Okay, so um, what you see here is this there we go. So this down here is my uh, testing area, my table, and I have over here a bean bag, and that allows children to um, have just some options for seating. And then I have a little bench over here and another little option for seating. What you see on top of the bench is a prize box. Oftentimes with my young kids or even my not so young kids, I will be offering them motivators to help them work towards their best effort across this testing session so that they um, do give their best effort. What we see here are some stickers that I use. You can see that some kids have been earning quite a few stickers um, just to help children to be able to see um, their hard work. And so what I'll do is I'll take out a sheet of paper and I will have the child earn usually the number of stickers that corresponds with their age. 
And after they've earned that many stickers, then they get a prize. And so in that way, the child is constantly getting reinforcement across the two hours and it helps to keep them engaged and motivated and keep their attention strong. And so that's a way that I can help get their best effort. Over here, what we see is a nice little couch. It's good and kid sized. So that's a nice little break area too. A lot of my kids might take a break and just kind of lay down for a minute whenever they're feeling a little bit tired. Um, sometimes whenever I'm doing things like just asking questions, I will have kids change up their seating arrangement just to give them a nice break from getting out of the chair. And then whenever we do have a break, I will give them an opportunity to play in the sandbox, which is a favorite toy for kids. Um, they really enjoy that. And then out here, we have the waiting room, and this is where my parents wait. And so during the assessment process for the two hours, what I do is I actually uh, set the parents up on a computer, and I have you guys fill out rating scales to help me have a better understanding of your impression of your child's functioning. And um, I also send those to the teachers and any other caregivers so that I'm getting a really good 360 view of what's happening with your child in a variety of different domains. Okay, so let's bring it all back in. So that is what's happening during an assessment. And um, Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that that gives you an idea of what's going on for the couple of hours whenever you guys, you and your child are working super hard during a neuropsychological evaluation or a psychological evaluation or a psychoeducational evaluation, whichever type uh, might be what you're needing. Okay, so remember you can always learn more, more about my services at emildaclinic.com and I will see you next time. Bye.